Caribbean islands, talking to students and teachers, also PTA meetings, and helping parents, teachers, and students overcome the fear of math. When I was in school, I never liked math. I used to have it very difficult, very hard, it's very complicated, but what I've done is over the years, I've developed a program that can help you learn math the easy, fast, and fun way. You're all getting ready to go into ninth grade, right? Yeah. So I want you all to, to really take charge of, who's going to Shala Mali? Me. Okay, Me. all right. Okay, what were you doing, Keen? Let's go and you do a Keen. Good. Okay. What? That's okay. That's, listen, listen, listen. I'm not, I didn't ask you, no, but that's not what I'm asking. I'm not asking you to talk. I'm just asking you to show of hands, right? With respect. What we're going to do today is this. We're going to learn how to do math the easy and simple way, but most of all, the fun way. That's the key. So we're going to be playing some games in the classroom, and you're going to be rewarded for playing the games. I believe in learn and earn. Who want to earn my money today? I got four zero, forty dollars today for those people. Let me see. Okay, raise your hands. Okay, good. All right. What's going to happen is this. I'm going to ask questions. All right. And some questions are going to be pricing a dollar, some two dollars, some five dollars. So if you answer the question correctly, you've earned my money. And here's the reason why. Now, how many of you go to church? Let me see your hands. Go to church. Okay, good. All right. Take your hands down. All right. Take your hands down. Okay, good. Now, how many of you know what is tithe and offering? What is tithe and offering? Money. Uh, you stand, please, and tell us. Stand, please, and tell us. Stand. Yeah, you don't know? You know what it is? Okay. No, no. That's all right. Uh, do you know, can I know what it is? Stand, stand, please. Stand, please, and tell us. And here's the reason why I'm asking you to stand. Because when you stand, if you have information to benefit the class, then you're an educator. So you stand, and we sit, and we listen to you. Like, for example, I'm doing a talk, and you're doing a sitting, right? So every time you raise your hand, you have something to say, I come to you, you should K-N-O-W. I like to pronounce that word, canal. Not no, N-O-N-O, -no, right? Canal. Canal, right. Canal, right. So you should canal what I'm talking about, all right? Good. Here we go. What is tithe? Tithe is like 10% of your on. Compliment by clapping. Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Right. All right. Sit down. All right. Good. That is very good. Now, who, what about offering? What is offering? Somebody said they know what offering is? Okay. Stand and tell us what offering is. But you're not ready. Come on. No, 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 you're not. Just okay. Give me your opportunity. Offering yeah. is like when you give money to the church, you help the church bail and stuff for you. That is so true. Complimenting. That's true. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Very good. You know there's a difference? You know there's a difference? He mentioned a certain amount, right? A specific amount, which is one zero, they call ten, right? Percent, right? Of your earnings. He just says give to help bill. But it's not any specific amount you have to give. Now here what happens. People do that to the church. I used to do that, but I stopped. I tie it to students. Come on, compliment yourselves. 
Aren't y'all glad? <laughs> it's coming for y'all. <laughs> right? I believe in tithing to students. Why? Because I can now, right? Remember that word? I can now that when I tithe to you, that means you earn it. Right? Because you answer the question I ask. So, so I can now where my tithe is going. I don't have to wonder, are they really using my money, right? No. Because I can now, you answer the question, you have the other students learn by the, giving the correct answer, so you learn and what? Earn. Can you say learn and? Earn. Learn and? Earn. Right, 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 right. Okay, so here's what's going to happen today. We're going to have fun in the classroom today. But listen to this. Unfortunately, some of you are going to have to leave the class. Some of you will have to be excused. Unfortunately, I hope not. And here's those. Those who are disrespecting themselves and disrespecting the class. By acting, saying things that doesn't really make sense and being foolish. To, just to get a laugh. How are I going to put food in your mother's table? Right? How are I going to have the other students learn? So what I'm saying is you can do that outside. That's fine. You can make each other laugh outside and clung around, whatever, right? But once you're in this classroom, try and use up that time to learn as much as you can. Once you learn what you're supposed to learn, it, you can go with it and laugh and have fun. I mean, not laugh and have fun, but be silly if you want to. Right? And teasing each other and, and then cursing each other out or making bad remarks to each other. I don't encourage that in, in my presence. When I'm at a school with students, there's no need because you can't earn any money that way. There's no learn and earn that way. So I want you all to give yourself, respect yourself first by saying, I'm going to listen and I'm going to talk when I should be talking. If somebody's talking to me, I'd rather listen to Dr. Yates because he's got the money. <laughs> he's the one who's going to offer it to me. I've got to listen to what he's saying because he might quiz me on what's happening. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm saying for you guys, brothers, Try and be mentally disciplined. Say, young man, you will explain it to us, okay? That the, the word one is spelled W-O-N. Why is one spelled W-O-N? Y'all excuse y'all, please. Excuse yourself from this classroom. Are you going to make any noise? The session going on right now. Okay? Thank you. Okay. You explain indeed why you spell one W O N. Because you can't spell one O N E. Because how can you spell O as one? With the, and what's the first sound you're making when you're saying one? You're saying W. A W sound, yeah, right? Woo. So right. You spell it W O N. This is one. Yes. Yeah. O N E. Phonetic. Yeah. Complimented. Beautiful. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. Slowly, Mr. Richard. Remember, you're moving up the hand. You're moving slowly, gradually. Work it. Hand, hand. All right. So a very good answer. That's what is expected. That's why in grass-matics, the language that is taught in grass-matics is called grass-ish. So this language is designed, to show you here, grass-ish. This, this word is a very important word. And it's a word that makes you get the math easily. For example, watch this. The word that we spell is based on phonetics. We don't mix that words in grass-ish. You can't. Because based on the sound is how you spell something. There's no confusion. If it's spelled confusing, then it's a what? It's conception. It's a concept. Right. You being calm. Alright. Now, out of these numbers, what would be the total? What is the total when you add four of it? Tell me, what would it be? Oh, I got it. You got it? Stand up, stand up. What is the total? The number is 45. Okay, complimenting. Complimenting. Very good. All right, now listen carefully. In grammatics, sit down. In grammatics, we do not say 45. 